The sun is really killing my vibe right now. Hello YouTube, what's up? Welcome back or welcome to my page. I hope you guys are doing well. In this video today, I'm gonna to be showing you all of my um, Black Friday purchases that I did at Zara. And I feel like this is like one of the few times where I've gotten something from Zara and I've actually been happy with because um, typically I have a hard time finding things that fit me, especially like bottoms. I have a hard time finding the right size. Um, sorry if you can hear that, there's some like construction happening. As you can see, I have a whole bunch of items behind me that I got from the sale. I've got some sweaters, some dresses, some jackets, and skirts, also um, some dresses. I don't know if I mentioned that, but yeah, I am so excited to show you guys all the things that I've got. Um, let me know if I should keep some things or return some of the things. Um, I think I'm happy with majority of the purchase. Um, just a few things here and there where I'm not sure. So let me know what you think. And without further ado, let's get on with the video. Starting off with my first and absolutely favorite purchase, which is this stripe sweater. I have been eyeing this for since last winter and they were out of stock. Um, for a while and I checked again earlier this year or earlier this season and they were still out of stock But surprisingly, I was able to cop this during the sale. I'm not complaining I don't know how but it's still like available on their website So I'm gonna link it for you if you're interested, but it's just your basic crew neck sweater It's a little on the, on the thicker side, which is awesome. It's striped as you guys know, stripes are super classic and timeless. Definitely a must have in your fall and winter wardrobe. But yeah, overall a good fit. It's more on the baggier size. I did um, uh, go up a size. This is a uh, small I got, or I typically wear an extra small, but this is a small and I like the fit of it. I think it's really nice and it's like that um, one comfortable sweater that you can keep reaching in your closet and you know it's gonna fit great and it's gonna keep you comfortable throughout the day. It's, um, yeah, just like a, a, a good classic piece to have in your wardrobe and I'm just really happy that the quality is also really nice. Okay. Purchase number two, which is yet another sweater. I am so disappointed with this one. Maybe it's my fault because I did, um, oh, well, actually, no, it's not my fault because it only comes in two sizes. So it's that oversized um, sweater look thing that's super trendy right now. I'm gonna insert a picture. This was the vibe I was going for, but instead I ended up with a dress and I'm not happy about it. I tried like, you know, like styling it a few different ways. I even asked um, people on Instagram what they thought about it. Many of you guys said return it, but a lot of you guys did suggest that I should wear it with leggings and boots. Um, although that's cute, I personally find that to be a little bit outdated. Um, so I think I'm just going to return it, but I'm still going to show you guys what it looks like just in case if you're interested in, um, you know, purchasing it or just kind of seeing what it looks like. But yeah, highly disappointed with this one. It's, it's thick, which is nice, but it does kind of like shed, I guess. Um, so just kind of be careful, but it's this like nice mock neck beige sweater i just wish it fit well but yeah it's got slits on the side also and then um just like overall a good piece i just wish it fit better also i don't want to hear tall people complaining about clothes not fitting because us short people also have the same issue okay moving on to dresses the first dress i got is this little t-shirt dress situation it's not really a t-shirt dress but it's like that um like mock neck dress with some short sleeves it's got pockets fake pockets but yeah just another like nice basic to have um paired with you know some like knee-high boots um a jacket and or like a structured blazer or a structured coat and you're good to go but yeah just another nice little basic piece to have i love i i think i'm like really into the high neck dresses and just high neck sweaters in general i really like crew neck so yeah, this is right up my alley. It's loose, it's nice fitting. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this one. The next dress I got is this, um, again, like mock neck, sleeveless, muscle dress. You know those muscle tees that have shoulder pads? Well, this is 
the same thing but in a dress form. I don't know how I feel about this because it is kind of loose up top but then like at the bottom it gets a little bit fitted. In some, like at some angles I think it looks cute but then like the overall picture I'm not too sure about. Also the armholes are way baggier and bigger than I was hoping so you, you could like see my bra and I don't like that so I think I'm going to be returning this. So the last sweater I got is this um, maxi slash mini um, sweater dress in this beautiful like reddish orange color and uh, I'm trying to incorporate a lot more colors into my wardrobe and I think red is um, a very good color in my opinion that kind of matches my complexion also like complements my skin tone so yeah anyway i got it in this like orange red tone i like it it's nice it's got like high slits so it hits me at a really good length um i think like having dresses or midi skirts just overall is such a good um, option because you don't have to worry about matching your top with your bottom it's just kind of like um instant and it's i like it i think it's like very easy and just kind of overall gives you that chic look um i like it i think i'm gonna keep it it's baggy i like that it's loose fitting it's comfortable it's warm it's perfect so for sure I'm gonna be keeping it. moving on to jackets and coats i stumbled upon this cape and i was not sure how or like what I feel about it because when I saw it I was like okay it's cute but it's also giving like Mrs. Claus um, moment a little bit just because like I think because of the color I'm just kind of like thinking about like Christmas and the holidays anyway I like it it's cute it's chic it's an upgrade to you know just like your basic like jackets and coats perfect for those like chillier days I think this can be easily like dressed up dressed down um, great for work, I believe, maybe like a business. I don't know, I just hit myself with the hanger. But I think it'll be good for like uh, dressing up and dressing down. Overall, a good little statement piece to have in your wardrobe because why not? All right, moving on to skirts. My first skirt that I got is this cute little mini skirt. It's black, it's got pearl detailing, pearl buttons. Oh yeah, and, and they work also, they're functional buttons, so that's nice. I just didn't really have a nice black mini skirt um, in my wardrobe. Anyway, I really like this. I think this is going to be great for the holidays, great for night outs. It fits really well, which is, which is a little surprising because typically I have a hard time finding bottoms fitting well around my waist. So this one is definitely... A work of art I like how it fits and even the length it's at a good length where it's considered a mini skirt rather than you know those like um, almost like knee length skirt anyway I like it keeping this for sure I'm gonna stand right here because the Sun is like in my face but next thing I got is this beautiful maxi slash midi skirt it's pleated it's nice I like the print the only thing about this is that it's very sheer it's very see-through so I think it's good to have but do I think it's something that I'm going to be wearing a lot this season probably not be only because it's see-through and I also feel like it doesn't quite fit that well around the waist um length is okay but yeah just overall I think because the material is so thin I'm turned off by it so I'm gonna be training this. All right, so the next two things that I got are puffer jackets, and I only got these because I'm actually going to New York, and I needed something that's cute, casual, that's gonna keep me warm, but I don't like these. And I feel like puffer jackets, in general, are kind of hard to pull off. Um, they look very big and bulky and I feel like it needs to be the perfect amount of puff if that makes sense. I think like a puffer vest that's quilted, I think that's more um, more like uh, 
that, that like just like I think complements my body type better. So I'm not sure about these. Uh, I'm gonna have to like kind of hold on to these for a bit just to kind of see how I feel. But right now, I don't know. I do like this one better than that one though. This one is a little less like overwhelming. Also the hood detaches, which is awesome. And yeah, I just, I don't know. This is like a maybe. And let me also just show you what this one also looks like. I like the fabric. My fiance actually has something very similar to this and he he got it from Uniqlo. Um, so when I'm wearing this or when I tried it on, it felt like I was trying on his jacket, which is why I'm like a little, eh, I don't know. But yeah, this for sure is like eating me alive. I don't think I'm gonna keep it. I, you know what? I think I need one of those like shorter, um, Puffer jackets, like not the cropped ones, but those like just like normal sized ones. I think that's something that was that's gonna look good because even though it's oversized here, you can like it'll give me some structure. It will give my body some structure, like waist down because of my cam. I think that's what it is. I don't think these like mid length or these like awkward length jackets are gonna do it for me. All right, I'm gonna do this outro real quick before the sun comes out, but thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was fun and exciting. I sometimes like to switch it up and just talk to you guys and you know, just like have a little girl and girl time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this just as much as I did and I hope to see you in my next video. Until then, take care homies.